Hello, first grade. Today we are going to learn about subject matter in art. So what is subject matter? That is whatever we are making our art about. So you could draw a picture of a cat, and remember that is a wildlife picture, or you could draw a picture of a building. It's whatever you put in your art, and they, those are the subject matters. Last year we learned portrait, wildlife, and landscape. So those, we have two of those right here. We have portrait, which again is a picture of a person, and we have landscape, which is a picture of the land, which is nature, anything outside with trees and grass and things like that. But this year we are learning two new ones. So let me read all of the words here that we have. So here's our subject matters. We have still life, portrait, landscape, and cityscape. So let's go see what those are. The very first one we're going to look at is still life. So let's think about those words, still life. Hmm, so still, that means it's not moving, right? Let me read you what the definition is here. A still life is a painting or drawing of an arrangement of objects. So what are objects? Objects are just things around you that are not alive. So it could be your TV remote, could be a crayon, could be a pencil, could be a glass full of candies. So a still life is just the objects around you. Those objects are not alive and they are still, so they do not move. Okay, I'm going to go down to the next one. Portrait. You guys know what portraits are. A portrait is a painting or drawing or photograph of a person. So this is a person. So this is a portrait. I think portrait is easy to remember because they both start with P. P portrait and P person, right? Let's go on. You guys know what portraits are. Landscape. You remember this one probably from last year too. Landscape, all the vi visual features of an area of countryside or land. So this is out in the country and it's nature. So they have trees here, they have sky and clouds, grass and bushes and flowers. So a landscape is not a picture of a person and it's not a picture of objects, but it's a picture of nature outside. You guys remember that one. Let's see, the cityscape. This is our very last one. I bet you can figure out what a cityscape is. Cityscape and landscape sound the same because they both have the word scape. Landscape, cityscaped. So instead of a picture of the land, a cityscape is a picture of a city. The visual appearance of a city or urban area. So cityscape, they've got buildings, they've got lights. Um, you can see the sky and some water in the background, which is nature, but the most important part is that we have all those buildings in there. So I'm going to show you a couple of examples of every single one of these so we can really get a good idea. Hmm, what do you think these are pictures of? Is it people? Is it nature? Is it a city? Or are they objects? If you are thinking these are objects, then you're right, and these are still lives. So they're just things that sort of sit on the table. They're not alive. Let's see if we've got a couple more. Here's another still life. It's just a bottle and a paper bag and a pear and a little cup. Here's another still life, because these are not humans, they're not animals, they're not nature outside, and they're not buildings, so they're still life. Let's move on to the, oh yeah, here's another still life. We've got 
cake. All right, here's one. Do you think this is a still life, a portrait, a landscape, or a cityscape? If you said portrait, you are right. These are pictures of people, so they are portraits. Here's another portrait. Oh, two more portraits. So these are pictures of any people, and the people are the most important things in these pictures. Because in this picture, you can see a building in the back, but the people are the biggest, and they're in the front. So they are the most important in this picture, and it's a portrait. Ooh, all right, let's see what this one is. Do you think this one is a still life, a portrait, a landscape, or a cityscape? This is a picture of nature outside, and it's land. So this one is a landscape. Here's some more landscapes. This is a field with hay bales, some mountains and a river. Ah, some pretty fields. And this one right here is also a landscape because even though there are people in it, the people are really small and you can't see them very well. So what's more important is the land around them because the land takes up most of the picture whereas the people are just really small inside of it. So this is still a landscape. All right, last one. Is this a still life, a portrait, a landscape, or a cityscape? If you said cityscape, you are right. These are all cities. So they have tons of buildings and lights and wires. There's little people in them, but just like the last one, the people are so small that they're not as important as the city around them. Ah, uh, some more cities. They've got big, huge buildings and people. This one's got lots of buildings in it. So these are very cool cityscapes. All right, I hope you guys learned our words. We can go back to the top to make sure we remember them. They all start with different letters. Still life with an S, P -p portrait with a P, like people, landscape, l land, and cityscape. This C, sometimes Cs make two different sounds. They go K or S. So cityscape starts with a C, even though it sounds like a s, s, s. So we have our four different words, all have four different letters. So hopefully we can remember which one is which, because we are going to take a quiz on this.